In this video, we are going to be taking a look at how to create our own DIY juggling flower plots. These are super cheap to make. They're a lot of fun. And yeah, let's get to it. Gregarious greetings and spectacular salutations. My name is Peter Paradox. Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. Besides my love for making videos, I also have an insatiable love for attention. So please hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me out as well as it makes me feel so good. Also, if you haven't noticed already, I'm, I'm using a new microphone. Hopefully it sounds good and doesn't suck. So yeah. This video, we are going to be looking at these juggling props. Why would you be interested in juggling flower pots? Cause it's fun. Why else? Why else do we do these things? Flower pot juggling, very similar to shaker cup juggling. I almost, it's almost like I got the idea to make this video from the last video I made about someone making a small prop into a big prop, <coughs> Brian. <clears throat> so, they're like big shaker cups. They're lightweight, they're cheap and affordable, and they're a lot of fun. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I talk about the occupational therapy uses for these specific juggling pots. There are a couple things that you're gonna need for this build. First, you're gonna need some pots. I bought these at Home Depot. Um, you can probably get them cheaper, but I think they were like a dollar each. They're like super cheap. You're also gonna need some duct tape and some double-sided tape, a foam insert, some scissors, a Dremel if you have trouble cutting through the foam, and a Sharpie. Links to materials used in this video will be found in the description box. So if you do wanna use the exact same things that I'm using, go for it. But feel free to experiment with other materials as well as other sizes of inserts because I'm sure you can get different effects. So the first step to making these is you're going to trace the base of the pot on the foam insert with the Sharpie. Once you've done that, cut the foam into a circle. This can be a little bit tricky because if it's like one inch foam, like the stuff that I'm using, it's a little difficult to cut through it. That's why you might want to use a Dremel. Dremels will get powder everywhere, so be sure to use it outside. Next, you are going to wrap the duct tape around the foam. So the reason why we're doing this is we wanna create a sticky layer, a layer that the adhesive tape can stick to both on the pot and on the foam. I personally only do like an X, so I make a cross and unfortunately I was an idiot and didn't get this on camera. Sorry, everyone. But I'm pretty sure all 24 of my subscribers can figure out what happened off camera. Uh, I made an X, That's it's, it's that simple. Next part, all we gotta do is take our double-sided tape Stick it to the back of the foam or the top of the foam. Bottom doesn't really matter what side. Peel them off and place them in the pot. And boom, we're basically done. Depending on how many pots you want, just repeat those steps five to 20 times. So flower, flower pots have actually been used in performances before. Uh, the, the Calvin family, I believe, used it in the 2019 IJA performances. The other thing that you can use juggling pots for is I see them very similar to what Craig Quatt developed with the juggle boards. There are a lot of satisfying patterns that you can do with juggling pots that are not necessarily as hard as just juggling three balls. So it's a great way to learn juggling patterns without having the coordination or the ocular tracking to catch things in the air. There's so many uses for this. Do not underestimate the juggling pots. Spring is around the corner. Um, this is a great springtime juggling prop. Let me know if you end up building it. I would love if a juggling manufacturer started building professional juggling pots. There might be a market there. The last thing I have noticed that you can do with these is you can put them over your mouth and sound like Bane from Batman. I was born in darkness. Bring me fresh strawberries. So yeah, those are all the things that you can do with uh, juggling pots. 